you guys, it's T Carp. Hope everybody is having a great Monday morning. Back again with another knife for our 30 day knife challenge. This is day number 10, or knife number 10. We are going to talk about the Cold Steel AK 47. And this is the small version of the AK 47. They make two they make a smaller one and a larger one. And we're going to talk about this knife. This knife is a little bit different. As you can see, it's a little bit more aggressive. And that is the whole point of this knife. It is a very, very aggressive looking knife. It is very tough. Um, it is very, very rugged. And it reminds people of the tough and rugged uh, gun, the AK-47. So let's get in this and talk about this knife. This is made by Cold Steel. This is made in Taiwan. So this is not a U.S. produced knife. This is a Taiwanese uh, made knife, and Taiwan makes good knives. There are great knives that come out of Taiwan. There's a great knives that come out of China. It just depends on what steel it is and the quality controls of the particular company. Um, I found that Cold Steel does a great job with their knives. They're very, very, very tough, um, and they're just, they're, they're, they're just great knives. So let's talk about this one. This one has that has that different type of blade. It's got this, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's thicker up top and then it goes down. It's not a full flat ground knife. I want to see if you guys can see that. It's, uh, there's a special word for it. Knife guys are going to get onto it, man. I just don't know. Um, it's got this shape. It's kind of got this little, like a, like a spear point, I guess. I, I'm not a hundred percent or some people may call it even a drop point. I, I'm not sure. Um, it's the steel is OS 8 steel, so they use the that OS 8 steel. It's very, very sharp. It is coated or painted black. It protects the knife. It is it is what it is. If you're going to use it, it's going to chip off. And hey, I like that. I like the, uh, the used look. This, is, this knife is a little bit different. So this knife has like a is a backing lock. It's not a liner lock. It's got this, what's known as a tri, I think it's called their triad lock or something like that. So how it works is you've got this spring here and all you have to do is just pull the knife up and you see how it does it and it locks it into place. And it, daggum, it locks it, locks it. It's not going anywhere. So it's very, very strong. Um, the handle is made out of uh, that G10 that we talked about. It does not have any uh, steel liners, though. So it makes it very lightweight, but again, I'm not really... Steel liners, people like them, people don't like them. It just depends. It just depends on the knife. But this has been a very, very solid knife. It's a very sharp knife. I love the tip on it. See, this knife you could really use, use it as a great little hunting blade. Um, great little uh, camping blade. I, I do like it. You're not going to beat through it through wood, but this is a knife that will just get anything you want done out in the woods done. Now this has this kind of cool thing where it's supposed to lock onto your pocket. So you're supposed to be able to pull it out and it'll lock onto your pocket and it'll actually deploy itself, which is kind of cool. Um, just depends on if that's what you like or not, but that's what that is made for. And you can use it as a thumb stud to just pop the knife open with one hand. So if you want to just pop it open, do that. Um, it's got um, the knife clip is reversible. So you can put it on this side or this side, which is kind of cool. Um, it does have a lanyard hole and it's, and uh, this is kind of a, uh, this is kind of a metal piece that they, advertise as being a a non-lethal option as a weapon you can kind of hit someone with that i don't know man but that's what that's made for um it is very grippy and aggressive with its finger grooves so as you can see you've got this really deep groove right here which is going to be your first finger second finger third finger and then your pinky comes over there it works it fits in my hand really really well um I, I really do enjoy this knife. It, it's not a, uh, it's not something I carry every day because the G10 is so aggressive. It just wears out a pair of jeans. Um, but it, I mean, it works. It works really good. I think this is 50, 60 bucks. Um, Cold Steel AK-47. You really can't go wrong with it. 
It just depends on if you like the shape of the knife or not. It is, like I said, it's very, very aggressive looking. Um, it just, like I said, just depends on if you like it. I'm okay with this knife. I'm not, this knife doesn't turn me on um, as, as well as some other knives do. But guys, this is the Cold Steel AK-47. It's T-Carp signing out.